Hey there YouTube, um, this is my first video and I'm making this video about my news job that I had done about uh, two years ago. Tomorrow actually will be two years and I thought hey, it's a perfect chance for me to make a video, a little review and insert some pictures and just kind of share my story. The reason why I'm doing this is because I've been approached by so many girls maybe guys uh, in the last two years asking me questions about the cause the procedure the surgeon and all of that um this is because he put my pictures um of my nose i guess and of my face on his instagram and he tagged me and a lot of people have approached me since then asking me questions and my honest opinions about him and the whole procedure and of course i have answered all of them at this point, I'm still being um, approached by people, which I really don't mind, but I just thought that because it's been two years now and uh, I myself went through this procedure and I imagine and still can imagine how hard it is and you try to find reviews about your surgeon, you're trying to find pictures, you're trying to find stories just to get that feeling, that good feeling about, I'm gonna do this which is hard to get to that point, especially if you've never gone undergone surgery in any kind of way, which was my situation. Um, I will um, also insert pictures where I can because I don't really know anything about editing videos. Um, as you can see, it is a very um, amateuristic, I think they say, video. Um, the lighting is off, probably the sound is off, the editing will be off, but uh, excuse all that because I do really don't know what I'm doing. Uh, but I just thought it would be really good for me to make this video, uh, as I explained. And second of all, there is not a lot of, out there about him as a surgeon, which I think is really a pity because he is such a good and amazing person and he does such a wonderful job. And it's just it's this whole way, new way of uh, surgery, of rhinoplasty, that uh, only a handful of surgeons are really actually doing this in the world right now. And I just think it should go out there because I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube uh, in the last five years maybe since I've like really done my research and decided I want to get surgery done um, about girls that have undergone this uh, process and the way their lo face looks afterwards, um, the bruising they get, um, it's just, it's ridiculous, um, especially because there is an alternative now, way better option and I've undergone it myself so I can really uh, vouch for it, I guess. It's a good word for it. Anyway, let's just get to the story. Um, it all started, I guess, when I was born. And I really hated my nose. I had a very typical Middle Eastern nose. Uh, of course, I will insert pictures where I can. Anyway and um, I always hated my it was just it was not nice for my face at all I never liked it always when I would make pictures or people would make pictures of me I would make sure that it was not in my profile it was up front and a little bit up so you would not see the whole shape of my nose I had a precise angle which um, kind of sh did not show the whole nose and I'm so happy that I don't have to do that anymore. Anyways, uh, and then I just decided, well, I'm just gonna go to, I'm just gonna do it. It just happened one day, which was, uh, I remember 12th of December, 2014, I think it was. Uh, that was the day, I have no idea why, just something came inside my head and I just decided like, I have to do this. I'm not just gonna keep living and just not be happy about it all the time and be insecure about it. Um, yeah, I've never been bullied, I've never been picked on about my nose, nothing like that. So there was no really mental issue for me, it was just merely myself and not liking it. Also, I just see my batteries die, so I'm just gonna quickly change it. Okay, so hopefully I have the right angle again, I don't have no idea, I just switched the batteries real quick. Is there even recording? I think it is. 
So where was I? And then yeah, I was not happy about my nose and I just decided to get it done. And that's when I started googling information about the surgeon. Um, I was just looking around for a name because I knew I wasn't happy about doing it in Holland. First of all because of the costs which are is ridiculous in Holland. Um, they're really pricey and I just feel that the surgeons don't really know what they're doing. Um, all they do is just correct the bridge, they don't even touch the tip and I wanted to have all of that done. Um, and so I started looking and I found this forum or like a website where a lot of girls from Holland were discussing getting a nose job and the more I was like looking around the more I saw this name pop up every single time and which was the name of my surgeon Emre Ilhan um, I will add his information down below or maybe I always wanted to say that too and uh, you can look him up yourself he's legit he's really legit he's a really really nice and kind and professional person and surgeon I'm supposed to say I just kept seeing his name coming up and I just decided let me just look this up who is this person why are they talking about him so much and I found his website and I saw that he has this new technique of um, rhinoplasty the difference between the ultrasonic rhinoplasty and the regular rhinoplasty I'm, they have this name for it but I don't really know because I'm not a surgeon but um, it's different they're actually breaking the nose for like the normal kind of procedure they break the nose with a hammer I've actually seen videos of this um, prior to deciding to get my nose done and I, I saw that video and I was like no not for me no thank you and that's how I kind of came across this way of uh, rhinoplasty as well um, because they're not breaking the nose with a hammer for reshaping the nose, they're actually um, sculpting the nose with a uh, ultrasonic knife. Uh, and this ultrasonic knife um, is supposed to like not damage uh, the tissue, um, the soft tissue surrounding the area. That's actually the main difference. And also there's a lot of less swelling and bruising after this procedure and I was really skeptical about this because I was like okay but it's still a nose job and you're still gonna get bruises and you're still gonna get a lot of swelling obviously because they're cutting your nose um, so I was just like looking around I really wanted to see pictures as more as I found out about this new way of um, a nose job of getting your nose done I just wanted to see pictures like proof about this and I really couldn't find anything until I came across this website which is called the real self team um, I will also add that website you can basically find any kind of surgery what's out there you'll find on that website uh, with people sharing the story with pictures and um, explaining why they got it done and the whole procedure afterwards prior everything and I came across this girl who was getting the procedure done with the same um, surgeon that I was about to or I was thinking about getting it done and she was very nice to me she's from the UK and the surgeon is actually from uh, Turkey um, I'm supposed to say Turkey not Turkey yeah it's Turkey uh, and um, he has his office there and he works there so when you want to get it done you have to go there and I've actually heard so many good stories about surgeons in Turkey for the last maybe 10 years about Turkish girls uh, getting their nose done there and so I really didn't really I didn't I wasn't skeptical about it at all I was just like okay he's from Turkey that's fine I just wanted to know more about him and this new technique uh, which in after my surgery and I told people that I went to Turkey to get my nose done a lot of people were like what you did what because I don't know, for some reason people think that people, that the surgeons there are not professional or they're scared or I don't know and this should be really, we should get this out of the world because it's so not true and I will get to that 
later um and so yeah i started talking to this girl and she was very nice she sent me pictures of how her nose nose looked now and how she wanted it to look and she was about to fly into turkey uh to get it done and she was in touch with me the whole time she would send me pictures and tell me stories about how it was and she was very very nice and I remember feeling really assured, which is probably one of the reasons why I'm doing this as well. So you guys know, even if you're not going to get it done with this surgeon, just know that a lot of people get it done. It's like really, I wouldn't say it's a small thing because it's still a surgery, but it's not that big of a deal as you maybe think now. Because I imagine it being a hard step to get to take because I did the same thing. It was really hard for me to do it because it was my first surgery ever. I'm dwelling off again. And yeah, and then she started start sending me pictures of after the surgery. And I was like, what the hell? Why are you not bruised? Why are you not sw swollen up? She was like, she was normal. Like a day after, or maybe like two days after, she was like a little bit, her face was blown up a little. Uh, but she has no, she had no bruises. Her face, her eyes were not red. She had no blue, red, or purple spots on her face at all from bruising. Uh, she was just swollen up, and a little bit like you couldn't really recognize her a little. Like her jaw was a little bit like thick, and but it didn't scare me at all. Which as like if I were to refer it to the videos I've seen on YouTube the last maybe even year of girls getting their nose done and the pictures like after that they insert like a day after or a week after it's just ridiculous they have bruises all over they have huge eyes red eyes like bleeding eyes and they just look like they've been run over by her car and she she didn't look like that at all she was just a little bit bruised or not bruised swollen and that was it and i was like wow this actually it's true the stories that I've read online about this new way, it's true. And that kind of made me even more secure about the decision. And that's when I had my first contact with his assistant, which is, her name is Chanzu. Chanzu, if I, um, or Chanzu, I think it is. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm so sorry. Um, and she was very nice to me. She answered every question I had uh, through email, of course. And then I just decided to book a date. And um, you're not you're not gonna pay anything. Of course, again, the stories that I'm saying is about two years ago, so maybe they have changed everything right now. But when I did it, um, I didn't have to pay anything at that moment. She just told me what the cost is gonna be, how the procedure is gonna be, and what time she wanted me to be there at the office for my first uh, consultation with the surgeon. Now the costs were uh, nine thousand. Turkish lira, which amounts to about 2100 euros, and that amounts to like $2,500 um, just for, to get the procedure done. And this also includes a one night uh, in the hospital, staying one night because you have to be there for observation. Also, they're asking you to be there in Turkey for like 10 days after your um, surgery because they want to have a, a checkup with you every now and then, like after two days, after three days, you have to keep going back to the office because they're just going to check everything, get the stitches out and, um, you know, get you bandages and everything that they're supposed to do. So you are supposed to be there for like 10 days. You can't just go in there quickly and just get out. This is what I thought I was going to do, but you no, know, she said... Uh, I was actually, I wanted to go for like five days and then come back after my surgery, which is really stupid, I know. But I just, I just thought I'd ask and she told me, no, you're supposed to be here for at least 10 days after the surgery. Now, my surgery was dated 15th of uh, September 2015. Uh, tomorrow it'll be two years after my first uh, and last rhinoplasty. I booked the whole consultation and the surgery date and she told me how much it's gonna be and I had to pay it at the office once I arrived. And then I started uh, booking a flight to Turkey and I found a really nice hotel. I, I made sure that the hotel was nice because I was going to be there for like two weeks and especially after my surgery I wanted to be comfortable so make sure that you always do that 
uh, it's just a tip um, because if you go into some crappy cheap hotel or motel or whatever you're not going to be comfortable and you really need to be comfortable it, or the week before my surgery I was really getting nervous I was scared I was contemplating like will I do it will, will I just cancel it it's better you know I'll just deal with my nose I'll just contour it or whatever but I had a really good friend beside me and she was supporting me through the whole time and she was just like if you want to get it done just do it you know just get it over with you've been like talking about it forever and you should just do it uh, I had I didn't tell anybody else I just told my mom and my dad and the reason why they couldn't be there is a little bit personal so I'm not gonna get into that but my best friend was there and that's another tip like do not go alone I was actually planning on doing it alone and I'm so happy that I didn't because you really cannot do this alone you need someone with you but it was just it's gonna be I didn't think it would be easy, but I thought, like, I can do it. Like, what am I going to do? I'm just going to be in bed all day or whatever. But you need someone there with you for, like, bandage change or whatever, especially the first day after. You're going to feel dizzy. You're going to feel very tired. So you really need somebody with you. I had my consultation on 12th of September. I will never forget the first time that I approached him, the surgeon. And I saw pictures of him online and I saw videos of him online. But he is such a nice down-to-earth um warm person and the first time that he saw me he, the, he just immediately said what i've been thinking like for the last so many years uh, which was he said your face is so feminine you have nice eyes big eyes you have nice lips you have a nice face but it's just the nose that is really like getting in the way of those futures to be shown and I was just, I remember sitting there and I was like, okay, you just need to get it done, like, right now. Like, how, can we just go into the surgery room or area and just get it done right now? He was such a nice person. And then he just discussed, like, the uh, things that bothered me and that I wanted. And I remember just telling him, just make it as cute as possible for my face and as small as possible as you can. And um, we had this program on a really big screen next to him and he showed me he just showed me like my profile and everything and then he inserted it into the computer and then he started making changes of my nose he said do you like this do you like that and he just he made everything the way i wanted it and he said i will try my best to make it look like this like the way you want it to uh, so that was even more comforting to see like what the end result slightly was going to be and it came out exactly like the pictures that he showed me in his office was exactly the same as how it came out and I didn't know of course by then but when he showed me those pictures kind of made me even more happier about getting it done and then that day he just told me he asked me questions about if I took medicine if I um, have any problems with my health, uh, if I have ever undergone any other s surgeries or whatever and um, yeah we just had a nice talk for about an hour and then I remember getting out of his office I paid the amount cash, you're supposed to pay cash uh, to his assistant at the office and then I left um, and I went to my hotel and I had a nice uh, dinner and I was waiting for my friend to arrive the next day and I wasn't nervous or anything like that, which was really weird. I thought I would be, but I wasn't. And I just checked in the, day, the morning of my surgery. And he came to see me real quick before my surgery. And he just said, you know, we're just gonna make you look beautiful. And he was very funny. He was a funny guy. Um, and then he left. And I remember the nurse coming in for my... In his, anesthesia or if they call it or I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right I'm sorry uh, for like the medication for you or the thingy for you to sleep and oh my god this is gonna sound so professional the thingy <laughs> and then they took me into the surgery and the first thing like when I got into the room of this where the surgery is going to take place it was very cold um i remember seeing her, his assistant he wasn't there yet i think he was prepping or something and a lot of people around me 
and the assistant were just looking at me, hi, it's me, you remember me? And I was like, yeah, and she was like trying to calm me down. I wasn't hysterical or anything, but I guess she knew that I was scared. And he came up to me and he was like, okay, you're just gonna count two. And I didn't even count and I was gone, like, just gone. And the next time, next thing I remember was like hearing my name. Somebody was like here calling me like from very far and I was like trying to open my eyes but it was like so hard for me to open my eyes because it felt like they weighed like a, a million kilos or, or whatever and I just I couldn't open them and then I finally opened them a little I was in the elevator we were going down and they brought me to my room and I remember feeling so cold I was feeling so cold I remember it I was like telling the nurse, telling my friend, like give me blankets, cover me up. I'm like so cold and nobody was listening to me and it was so weird to me. I was like, why is nobody listening to me? Afterwards, my friend told me that my surgeon before I came in, came out to see her and told her like everything went okay, everything went fine, but um, like she's gonna come in here and she's gonna say she's cold, she's not. Um, it's just like the medicine or the anesthesia that's going out of her body and it's also the difference between the room of the surgery and here she's gonna feel very cold and her body's gonna shake a little so don't be scared and that's why she was like ignoring me um because i was yeah i was not cold i just felt like i was cold and i think it was like an hour i got this mask I'll insert pictures that look like I don't know what but I was so happy that my lips were so thick uh, it looked like I had them done which wasn't the case but it looked so nice and then um, I had this mask I just started making pictures I remember that and I was like I was holding my phone like this and I was just like making pictures like of the side because that was really important to me like my profile was very important to me I was just like making pictures and uh, I was feeling very, very, I was feeling fine. And I, wasn't, I wasn't worried. I, didn't, I was not in pain at all, which I was very scared to have. I was not in pain. Uh, just a little discomfort because there was a lot of bleeding out of my nose. And they put this uh, bandage underneath, um, underneath the hole. So the blood would get on the bandages and not on my face. And they had to change that like every 20 minutes and the nurse was a little bit lazy because it was at night, you know, she was a little lazy to come. And my friend stayed the night also, by the way. And my friend would go there and just like be like, my friend needs to have her bandages changed. And then she would come inside and she would be like so pissed and then change my bandages. But like, it's her, it's your job, like you're supposed to do this that was the only thing like the whole procedure everything that i've gone through there that was the only thing that i was like okay that's not very nice to do you're a nurse uh, other than that i have had no bad experience throughout the whole procedure at all and in the morning the doctor came to see me my surgeon and he just checked up on me and said, how do you feel? Um, and which I felt like, I felt great. I didn't sleep at all because you have to sleep up. You can't lay down. I was so happy that I got it done and it was done. And yeah, he just told me like, you're going to get a little bit swollen throughout like a few days. But it will get better and just keep me updated. And if you need anything, just call us and everything. And he knew where, which hotel I was in. And I would have constant contact with his assistant. And of course him if I wanted to. And then, um, yeah, we left and I could just walk. Everything was normal. I could walk. I could see. I could, it was fine. And he also told me, like, stay out of the sun. Do not go into the sun. So I had this huge uh, hat. Which I also insert pictures of. I had this huge hat, like, covering my face. And it was so weird for me to go outside because I had this pink bandage on my nose. And... It was very clear, like, it wasn't even, like, a skin color kind of bandage. It was, like, pink, and it was in your face, and I remember going outside, and everybody was looking at me, like, 
okay, she had her nose done. And I was like, I wasn't like really worried about that, but like kids, mainly kids would like look and point and all of that, but they didn't really care about anything else. Like it was fine. And my friend was going through some, yeah, not so great times at that period. So she was fine with just staying at the hotel with me. She's not like the very party, let's go outside type of girl. And she was just stay there and just like look after me. We would like order in at the hotel. Uh, they had really amazing food, um, and we would just eat. And we didn't even turn on the TV or anything. I was on my phone, and she was on her phone. And then, like in between, we would talk. And that it, we were just it was just one on one time, which was nice for like two weeks with my best friend. It was really nice. And then, yeah, the next day I remember getting up. And I could feel it, like my face was different. It, it was like a really weird feeling. And I got up and I looked in the mirror and then suddenly I was like, who the hell are you? Who is this person? My face was like really swollen, like my jaw was like down here. I looked like, I don't know, like a rabbit or something. And it was, it was a little bit discomforting, like it made me feel a little sad because I was like I don't recognize myself um, and I hope it's going down I hope it will change but he did tell me all of those things but still like when you see that it's different like the feeling you get is like am I gonna look like this forever and my friend was like look look we're just gonna go outside just have a nice dinner go to the mall just like I had to walk because if you lay flat the whole day and night your body and the blood circulation kind of stops or it doesn't like really work and I could really feel that when I would get up um, my feet would hurt my legs would hurt and my head would hurt so uh, the surgeon also told us to like take a, like a walk like half an hour hour walk and build that up a little which we did and then we went to the mall which was like exactly near the hotel like next to each other like this was this was our hotel and the mall was like next to it and it has like really nice like nice restaurants and uh, shopping it was a shopping mall basically and we just went there and we did a little bit of shopping and we ate and then also awkward for me because everybody was looking at me but um, I mean who cares I mean I'm never gonna see them again so they don't really care and then we went back and then yeah the next day I woke up it was swollen less still swollen but a little bit less and I could start seeing like my normal face again and then we went to a mall again for shopping it's really nice to shop there it's cheaper than it is um, anywhere else Yeah, and then uh, the third day, I think it was, or maybe the fourth, I had to go in because uh, they were gonna get out these tubes that I had in my the nose nose holes. They call, they're called I don't know the holes. And I remember that that hurt a lot. Um, they had like this thing for it, and they just kind of pulled it out. That kind of hurt, um, and there was like a lot of blood coming out of my nose after that. Um, but I was getting used to the blood at that point because um, every time I would change my bandages in the hotel, like I would take them out and a lot of blood would come out and then I would put them back, like the bandages, and every time I would take them off again, a lot of blood would come out. So I was probably, I get, at that point I was getting used to it. It was fine. Um, it was just discomfort and it hurt to get those thingies out. But that was just for my breathing. They put that in so I could breathe went back to the hotel and like after two days I was getting fine I wanted to, sh to take a shower which is another thing do not take showers by yourself after like four or five days after surgery uh, I did sh like shower my body like I would wash my body but I didn't wash my hair um, that was the first day I would, I would wash my hair And I remember feeling so dizzy, like the water was like coming on 
to my head and I felt so dizzy like I was going to faint like I was going to fall and I just called my friend really loud and she came in I did not close the door by the way do not do that and she came in and then uh, she kind of helped me she washed my hair and then she took me back to my bed so don't do that don't wash alone don't go into the bathroom closing the door and taking a shower like it's normal it's not because you have undergone surgery and your body will definitely react to water on your head and then yeah and then after that the day after we went back and then he took the bandages off and i could see my nose and it looked so good to me i was so happy Uh, about seeing the results and it was still swollen at that point he told me like the tip is so swollen it will even go down more than this but at that point i was even happy with my nose like how it looked then um for me it looked a little bit like a little bit thick and i told him like i wanted a little bit smaller he said and he said it will get smaller it's just it's swollen right now so yeah and uh, we went back to holland both of us Um, and after like six, seven months, eight months, you're supposed to like go back, which I didn't really have the time to do that. Um, I study and I work and I didn't really have the time to go back. Also, I got a little bit lazy because I was like, yeah, I'm really happy with my nose right now. So, and everything is going great. I mean, I have had nothing. Like, I can even breathe better than I could before, which is really weird. I've never had any problems with breathing at all, but... Like I can, it's open, like he, I don't know what he did, he is such a good surgeon, it's like it's ridiculous and it's what, what's ridiculous to me, like I'm not promoting it, but like if you want to get it done, there's this whole new way of getting your nose done, like you don't have to break your nose, you don't have to have all these bruises, like you're run down by a car, you, you can just like have a little bit of swollen for like two days, three days and then get over it. So yeah, this is kind of the result of my nose. I've been talking so much. I'm so sorry for that. Um, but I'm really happy. It's probably one of the best decisions that I've made uh, this far. Um, if you have any kind of questions concerning anything that I've said, talked about, if I've forgotten,